What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'm going to express some of my concerns and some of my thoughts on virtual reality and all the people, that, all the devices that it entails. This includes, you know, the Microsoft devices, the Sony devices, the HTC device, and the Oculus Rift. These are just some observations I've had over my time with the Oculus Rift and being on the virtual reality website and things like that because, you know, I pretty much just stay on those sites looking for like, good games, good products that are coming out out for it, good ideas, you know, a bunch of just anything that's interesting to me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start this with showing the HTC. They just come out with there's an article on Tom's Hardware, and he's talking about about the HTC Vive. Now he's the way he's talking about it, he's talking about it's like the next big thing. You know, it's better than Oculus Rift, it's better than all this other stuff. Now I haven't used the Crescent Bay, but I, I will probably end up grabbing one whenever it comes out. But I will also probably end up grabbing a Vive when it comes out too, as you know, as long as it's a good price. I'm not gonna buy it if it's five hundred dollars over. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start. I don't really call it a rant. I just say it's a bunch of my concerns. I've heard the Rift will be under three hundred dollars. Well, every time I hear about the Vive, I hear his cash register sounds in my head. Just every little new thing about it. If it's around three hundred dollars or less, it's still viable in the marketplace. But it just worries me that people won't be able to afford it. Secondly, I think all the VR devices should have a ability to only set it to work on the VR device instead of having three screens running at the same time. It'll be able to knock it down to two screens just, just on your face. Unless you're making you know, like YouTube videos, which I've done, but unless you're making YouTube videos or unless you're sitting around with friends and they're wanting to see what you're doing, then it's really not useful to have three screens going at all at the same time and it just takes resources from your graphics card so you may as well have the option to knock it down to just two screens going instead of three another thing i noticed about the games in the oculus is i'm gonna go ahead and address since this is another possible culprit with the vibe and the, and the microsoft one coming out and the sony one coming out i'm not sure if the microsoft one's still coming out but i heard about it at the beginning of the year so maybe even before that is Everything's always out of proportion. Like, I know these these are all like things where people's playing around. These are you know practice games that people are making, but you know I've noticed with the 3D film, for instance, on Steam, it's a virtual reality film. It's done in 3D, and you I watched it, and you get like 12 foot tall women and 15 foot tall horses and 15 foot tall bison, and you're like, why is everything so out of proportion? In other games like the Star Deck game, like the one you're viewing, observing the sun, you feel like a basketball player. You're at least eight foot tall. You're walking around. The doors are are smaller than you. And then other games you get into, you feel like Godzilla walking through a town made for dolls. If I'm gonna play a virtual reality game or movie, I want to feel like I could be part of the world to create tension or a sense of realism not still feel as if, uh, if I'm an outsider looking in I didn't get virtual reality so I could have a big screen TV I got it for immersion another problem I've seen with virtual games is people selling incomplete product there's several incomplete games on Steam for sale for the Oculus Rift and on sites like Rift Arcade the movie theater known as Cinevio for the Oculus Rift is $10 on Steam I figured it would have gotten better being on Steam since Steam is like an official platform but it didn't you have to insert movie files directly into the folders and they folders aren't shared per movie theater. If I want to watch a movie in a graveyard, I have to have it in that file for the graveyard. If I want to watch the same movie in space, it's not transferred over. You still have to move that movie back over to that file that you want to watch it in. Insanity didn't even stop there. This game is essentially in pre-alpha stages, being sold for normal prices. Then they have a theater app that's a web browser for the same price, which seems like the, it should be part of the original product, not the same price, and sold separately. I know Steam can't control what the game contains, really, but they can stop people from attempting to sell unfinished products unless clearly stated that it's pre-alpha or something, which they did in that one product. Of course, there's plenty of products like the 3D movie, for instance, which is terrible. This problem gets much worse on other sites, though. Selling a game with one level for five to ten bucks or breaking it up into pieces and selling it by chapter for a hefty price for what you're getting. This being a new product, we haven't even really scratched the surface on what we can do with VR, and we don't need to be ruining it already with jamming prices down people's throats for incomplete products, and then it's going to get the reputation, or all VR stuff is going to get the reputation of being incomplete or being created by somebody in their basement and trying to get money for it. And that's my thoughts on the subject of VR, and if you don't like it, then tell me. If you like it, tell me. Thumbs up or thumbs down. If you have different thoughts, just tell me that too. Thank you for watching.